Hi everyone. Have you ever wanted to move data from one environment to another environment, but you wanted to keep the GUIDs? I know that the users wants to move data from one environment to another environment, but most of time is keeping the GUID with the most challenging part. Today in that video, I'm going to show you how to move one data from one environment to another environment using Excel. And in another video, I can show you also how to do that using a configuration migration tool. But today we're just going to be using Excel. Let me show you how to do that. So now I'm going to show you how to move data from one environment to another environment and keep the GUID. But keep in mind, if you're going to do that, you can do that only if you're moving what we call a master data or a configuration data. It does not work with huge amount of data like hundreds and thousands of records, maybe just a couple of hundreds, a little bit of less than few thousand. So the whole idea is you want to move the records from one environment to another environment to keep the GUID, which and those records should be only master data or configuration data. So what you see over here. So what I'm going to show you is we need to move those records from one environment to another environment. And keep in mind the way to do that, you can move records that what we call a master data or a configuration data, which should be few hundreds, maximum less than a thousand. If you want to do that with a large amount of data, we don't recommend that you use the way that we're going to show in this video, which is using Excel export and import. But if the amount of data is not that much, then you can move your configuration data or master data. So what I have over here is something called groups, and this is the master data that will have several records. I want to move the groups from the dev environment to the test environment that I have. And if I go to that test environment, you will see that I have nothing of those groups. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to export those data or those records using Excel. So once you open these groups, you're going to have the view, put the view, the records that you or, or the fields that you care about, then you need to go export and you need to export dynamic worksheet. When you export dynamic worksheet, I'm going to show you why, but the reason is it's going to have the gates for those data. So come over here, export to dynamic worksheet. It's going to ask you what fields do you want to have in this export. You're just going to keep those as is, then export. Then it's going to ask me where to store those. Let's put this here and let me call them active groups. export or export. Once this file has been saved, if we come here and open that file, we will see that this file is nicely formatted and you will see that it starts from column D. That means that A, B, C are hidden. So if you unhide columns A, B and C, come on. You will see that column A is going to have the GOATs. Column B and col column C had when it was modified. Column B has what we call a row checksum. So what we're going to do is we're going to save this file as a CSV. This is step number one or step number two. We're going to keep it same place. CSV. And let's call it import just because I usually like to rename the files the way that it's supposed to be. Save. Okay. Because we're going to do an import, we do need the checksum and we do need the modified. So keep in mind right now, we are modifying the CSV file. We're not modifying the actual Excel file. So let's go to the CSV file. We're going to remove column B and C. And column A, it's up to you. You can leave it like that or you can rename it. I usually like to rename it. And for the sake of rename, I'm just going to call it group goats. So what we did, we did an export from dev 
for the data that we want to export. We exported the data as a dynamic uh, worksheet. It saves that in an Excel. Then we uh, resaved, or resaved this Excel as a CSV and we removed column B and C and we just kept the given. Last step is we're going to go to test and we're going to import the file. If we go to test over here, we'll go to groups. What we can do is come and import from CSV. Then we're going to pick our file, which is the import. Then we're going to do next. An important step over here is that you need always to review the mapping because in the mapping, this is where you can say the GUID is going to go to the group column. I'm going to show you. So if you click review mapping, this is where you make sure that that the fields or the columns in the Excel sheet mapped with the fields on uh, your dataverse or dynamics. The name is going to go to name. Agent is going to go to agent, created on, created on. The group gewits, and this is where the column that had the gewits, we're going to say we're going to map it to the group, which is the name of the custom entity that we have, and the group type is going to be group type. Then we're going to do finish import. Then it's going to tell you that your file is being submitted. We can track the progress. And as you can tell, and as we've seen before, when you do an import, it goes through a couple of steps, submitted, transforming, submitted, parsing, and transforming. Now we see that this has been completed. If we go to the entity and we refresh, we can see the data. Now let's try to do a validation check. If we go to the development environment and add an example, open the EBC manufacturing. And if we take the GUID for that record, So this is the GUIDs that we got out of that record, ABC Manufacturing in Dev. So if we go to test environment and we open the same record and we check the GUID for that record, we will find that, yep, it is the same. Let's try another record. If we go to add an example, I mean, O, and we take the GUID for the I mean, O, and then we go to test environment, and we go to the same or the, you know, the records that migrated, same I mean, O. And we take the GUID. Boom, you will see that the same GUID. So, again, keep in mind you can use the import export through Excel and CSV if you want to keep the GUID only with master data or configuration data. You can't do this with a large amount of data. I hope this video was helpful to you. Feel free to leave a comment below or share it if you like it. Thank you and see you in another video.